uh, today's throwback, Nigeria, a nation in darkness after more than 115 years of electric power generation. Further to the scission or the full colonization of Lagos on 6 August 1861 under the threat of force by Commander Bedingfield of HMS Prometheus, who was accompanied by the acting British Consul William Macroskey, the red bearded Scottish man that the Gaussians of yore named Akwabon area, a colloquial abbreviation of the phrase Onyibo Akwabon after a settlement or quarters around today's marina, known then as Okokomaiko, hence marina was the first Okoko, where the Flagstaff House, Lagos Government House, the General Hospital, which started as a medical facility exclusively for Europeans until some of the founding members of the Island Club physically, indeed, violently protested under Governor Cameron, under Cameron, Cameron in the early 1930s to CMS, where the Anglican Cathedral and the Bishop's Lodge are located. The streets of the settlement were lit in the evening with oil fired lanterns to deter burglars. However, electric power generation in Nigeria began in 1896 and was used to replace the lanterns used for street lighting. In 1929, the Nigeria Electric Supply Company, NESCO, was established. In 1951, the Electric Corporation of Nigeria, ECN, statutorily came into being through a federal ordinance, as colonial legislations were called in pre-independent Nigeria, to take over the assets of NESCO. In 1962, NDA, Nigeria Dams Authority, which controlled the dams around Chiroro and River Niger, was established through an act of the National Assembly to develop the hydropower potentials in Nigeria. In 1972, the ECN and NDA were merged to form the infamous and now defunct NEPA, National Electric Power Authority. I never said, don't never expect power, you know, which later evolved to Power Holding Company of Nigeria, PHCN as a holding company which gave birth to the aberrationally privatized electricity discos, distribution companies, that are inefficient monopolies supposedly distributing darkness across the geopolitical, geopolitical regions and some major cities like Lagos, Abuja, Ibadan, Akano, ETC. In conclusion, as you would see when we write on the on and off 100 years plus history of light rail mass transit in Lagos, you will see that we as a people, either through the inevitable failure of visionless leadership or other culturalized malevolent factors that perfected the art of retrogressing, except in outlandish and low life guaranteed population explosion. Nigeria adds the equivalent of the population of Norway, 5 million every year. And that's it on the show tonight. I am Bola Oba. Have a